There is a genocide being carried out by the State of Israel against Palestinians in Gaza, and still this Labor government stands with Israel and supports the invasion of Gaza. That is the bottom line. The South African case against Israel laid out in stark, horrific detail the undeniable evidence of genocide in Gaza. And if South Africa was able to find this evidence, then that we know now without a shadow of a doubt that Labor knows as well. They knew last year when the Israeli Defence Minister said, and I quote, I have ordered a complete siege of the Gaza Strip. There will be no electricity, no food, no fuel. Everything is closed. We are fighting human animals and we will act accordingly. Then you, the Israeli Defence Minister, then said to soldiers, I have removed all restraint and Gaza will never be the same. Or when the Israeli President said there are no innocent civilians in Gaza. Israel has made its intentions brutally and horrifically clear. Labor know now there are 28,000 Palestinians who have been murdered by the Israeli ministry, military, over 10,000 children. Or what about Al Nasra Hospital? And I quote from the Washington Post. It was the height of Israel's assault on the northern Gaza last month, and Al Nasra Children's Hospital was a war zone. The day before, airstrikes had cut off the Gaza City's facility's oxygen supplies. Israeli tanks had surrounded the hospital complex, and the Israeli Defence Forces were calling and texting doctors, urging them to leave. But ambulances couldn't reach Al Nasra Hospital to transport the wounded. Five premature babies were particularly vulnerable. They needed oxygen, medication administered at regular intervals. There was no portable respirators or incubators to transport them. Then the IDF delivered an ultimatum, get out or be bombarded. An Israeli official, meanwhile, provided assurances that the ambulance would be arranged to retrieve the patients. Well, all five of those babies were found to have died slow, painful deaths, decomposing two weeks later. Labor know more will die from Israel's engineered famine in Gaza than from bombs, yet still they stand with Israel and support the invasion. But then Labor went one worse and followed the United States in pausing UNRWA funding, crucial aid funding to Palestinians in Gaza. I quote from the Lemkin Institute, as of January 2024, 500,000 Gazans were forced into phase five catastrophic levels of hunger, imminent risk of mass starvation and death. This represents fully 80% of all people in the world currently at risk of death by hunger. Each malnourished child, starving family and refugee camp without access to food is a tragedy. Collectively, it is a crime, the liability for which rests on those who actively and knowingly prevent access. These are little Palestinian boys and girls dying slow, painful deaths, growing weaker by the day, while their parents, if they haven't been murdered themselves, watch on in horror, unable to do anything to prevent their deaths. International lawyer Francis Boyle said these states are now uh, directly violating Genocide Convention Article 2C by themselves, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or part. I want to be clear, what he is saying is Australia is breaching the Genocide Convention. Now Netanyahu orders 1.4 million Palestinians who Israel has corralled into a very small area in Gaza to evacuate. But where to? We aren't, we aren't told. And now we know that the Israeli military is, uh, is on the verge of turbocharging this genocide in, in Gaza. And God only knows the horrific, outrageous crimes against humanity and furthering of the genocide that will occur. Now, South Africa has proved what moral and political courage looks like. South Africa has proved what a middle, middle power can do to prevent genocide. And Labor keeps saying, well, oh, we're doing all we can. We're issuing these weasel words without ever directly doing what is clear that they should do in these scenarios and these circumstances. Indeed, this is a moral and political test for this government that so far they have catastrophically failed. Call for a permanent and immediate ceasefire. Ban immediately the sale of military equipment or weapons to the State of Israel. Apply sanctions on Israeli ministers and government ministers facilitating the carrying out of genocide. And join and support South Africa's case in the ICJ against Israel and their case of genocide in Gaza. It is so clear that right, what, we read, what we need right now is moral clarity and understanding that regardless of uh, the actions on October 7th, which were horrific, nothing that happened on October 7th or the terrible deaths of Israeli civilians can surely justify the mass murdering, mass murdering and genocide of Palestinian civilians. This will not bring about peace. This will create more radical radicalism, more hate, more death. And at the end of this, there will be weasel words from this government and claim they care about peace. What a nonsense.